ask. Do you have anything else? I do. I have two things. Damn it. But I could just leave one. I'm cutting off my one of my things. Maybe I'll move it to next week. What do you want? What are you cutting off? I'm cutting off of it. I, mean, I don't want to say it. If I say it, then I'm not cutting it off. Do you want my last one or not? I don't know. Is it going to be a long, long thing? Probably not. Probably not. That sounds scary. It, it's a long thing, isn't it? Tell the truth. Tell the truth, Shane Dibba! It, it may not be. It may not be. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Give it to us. So. I'll try to power through. We've been looking for jobs around the world and I think I've probably applied for our, at least 100 positions so far. We've had one interview and one offer. And this week I have had I haven't checked my email today but I've had 72 emails from China and 13 of them from South Korea saying do you want to come teach here? And then I get the, uh, an email from the school that gave us the original offer and she said, our country's closed down. I don't know what we're gonna do. We're not working. I don't know if there's gonna be a job for you. I'll keep you updated. So my question is, do we go back to China? Oh God. I can give you an answer right now. Oh God. I can give you an answer right now. Oh God. Hail to the no. Oh God. What if that's the only place to find a job? Oh, I, I don't I don't have a problem going back to China. I do. I would love to go live in Shanghai for a while. I do. Okay. What Kingdom does? Okay. I don't want this room to be our entire apartment. Our apartment in, in Foshan was bigger than this apartment. You want to go back to Foshan? I don't know if that's necessarily true. Also. Your space is bigger, minus the balcony. What about my room? I don't... I, Bathrooms. Being in China is... It will... I don't know. I looked yesterday morning. In, for On this one email, someone had sent me a link to job listings that they had. For Shanghai alone... There were 10 pages of job listings. I get it, but that doesn't, I don't. I mean, there are hundreds of them every day. I, I, I get it. They probably got hundreds of people stuck outside of China, too. They have hundreds. You know? I probably mean, thousands of people. And those people are probably not going to want to stay in China after on the other side of this. Right. You know? Or they have to make other arrangements and and go somewhere else to finish out the year or something or whatever. I don't know. <sighs> I know that the teacher that used to work for you, she and her husband are stuck in Malaysia and they are teaching online because they can't get back to Guangzhou. But when they go back to Guangzhou, even though they've been in a place with very few cases and they have no symptoms, they will have to quarantine for 14 days. Quarantine is basically being in your apartment. Yeah, but you can't go out and get food. That has to be delivered to you. You have to wear gloves and masks to go out of the, the door of the apartment to get it by the, the elevator. There's like a certain yeah. I mean, that's, that's quarantine. Yeah, I'm, I'm, and I expect nothing less of China. She was upset about it. I was like, why are you surprised? I mean, okay, I, I don't know what that, I don't know what but there point are, is. But there are lots of teachers I, I know a good 10 or 15 of them who are outside of China who went home for spring festival and can't get back. Yeah. Yeah. And I was looking for flights yesterday to different places just to kind of see, you know, 
what are the prices like right now? Are they going down from what they were three weeks ago? And on the, the app that I use, it says flights may be canceled. We should go to Canada. Yeah. Let's go to what? Canada. These are the people who don't like the snow, and you want to go to like one of the what coldest mean, places whoa, 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 whoa. ever? I can suffer through. What do you mean? Not I'm liking snow. I don't have a problem with snow. See? You don't have a problem. Last time I saw snow, what did I do? Immediately played in it. He's a Michigan kid. I don't, I don't have a, snow runs in my veins. See, that is, that, that is a, probably a true statement. Snow runs in snow the goddamn veins. and apple cider. Snow and apple cider, huh? That Those are my veins. Those are your veins? Yes. <laughs> well. It's see. apple cider slushy. <laughs> we, should, we, should, we, should go to, we should go to Canada. Also, I've never been to Canada. I, li- I like to go there. We don't have That's to go where the to Peter Windsor. McKin- That's where the Peter McKinnon is. We don't have to go to Toronto. Where do you want to go? And it's not easy to get a job in Canada. I'm just saying. Canada. I'm just saying. I want to go to Europe. We can go to the west side of Canada and I feel like Europe. I mean, one, <laughs> side, one side's British, the other side's French. Yeah. That's like Europe. That's like you're polite. <laughs> you're a polite. <laughs> like you're polite. Oh my god. That was funny. That's, no, don't do that, please. We could go to uh, Scandinavia. I also applied for several positions Norway. in uh, around, Norway. throughout the the, a- the African continent. Icelandic. Is it Ice- Greenland? Oh Jesus. Icelandic is the closest language to what the Vikings spoke. That old Norse. You wanna know it? Kind of, but it is a trip to listen to. I don't care about that. I mean, how is it different than all the other languages? Very. No, I'm just saying, it's all, a new language is a new language. Oh, sure. Just add to the word salad. Exactly. You gotta learn how to say, where's the bathroom? I mean, you know, that's all you're worried about. Maybe they do right. YouTube. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell us either. I, but I, I do have a more interesting. I don't. I don't. I don't think that Mexico is a viable option. It's not. So that being said, then that means go somewhere else. Why don't we go to an island? I'm trying. In the Caribbean. I've been applying. The Canary Islands, Grand Cayman, um, the Bahamas. Yeah, a- until hurricane season. Right. I've applied <laughs> in a we lot We would be arriving right before hurricane season. Yeah. I've applied mm-hmm. all mm-hmm. over the world. They have the wooden houses, right? Oh, I don't know what they have. They've. I don't it know. Seems, it, it seems like place. somewhere that gets a lot of hurricanes they'd be like don't build anything out of wood and well, that's, do like that's asia. here in asia build everything out of concrete yeah but well, that's asia that's what they did for the typhoons that's yeah. why when the typhoon came through we didn't even it didn't, it didn't even bother even, us it was just it was just Heavy a lot rain. of water yeah. just please get the laundry off of the balcony right exactly we so don't want to have our clothes blow blowing in the wind like blowing across the com- the complex and the the one uh, street in the complex would that flood. would flood, and well, the street in front of the complex would flood. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. flooded yeah. all the way, the bus all the way back to the complex. Yeah, the buses couldn't. Yeah, drive we had that one walk in the the thigh deep water. With we the were also trees. essentially at sea level if it was thigh deep. But... Well, it was for me. Okay, well, yeah. so that's being a known. <laughs> all right, we got anything else? Because. Is that something more interesting? More interesting? Or something fun to talk about? Or is the whole week just Okay, sad? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this and we'll see what they do with it. You ready? Beyond Me OMG. Ah oh. uh, yes. That was an experience. That was disturbing. I've never I okay, I can't say I've never had beef. 
I don't remember what beef tastes like or feels because like. Because you've only had one mouthful in your lifetime. Right. I don't know. I never. I didn't retain that knowledge. And I tasted the Beyond Burger, and it felt like meat. I knew it wasn't chicken, but it felt and tasted like meat. It's been 30 years since I have had beef or pork, and it was disturbing. To put that tiny little piece of plant-based material into my mouth, and to have that texture and that flavor and that after, it was really, really disturbing. It was weird. The thing that bothered me the most about it was the price. I spent all that money on two damn burgers. I thought there were four in there. Two patties. Two patties. That covered the small buns. Two small buns. And Not I got them on sale. Bones. And they were, it was nine bucks on sale for two patties. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money here. Hey. I don't know what to tell you, but the smell, the taste, the texture, the mouth feel, the everything. I cooked it just straight vegetable oil and let them let them cook in a pan. Nothing else and. Basically, to me, it was like eating beef. Yeah. It, it was quite scary. No. But did it taste good? Oh, it was delicious. Oh. I, I, I didn't stop eating beef because I didn't like beef. Oh. That, that was not... I stopped eating beef because, you know, my grandfather's triple heart bypass... That, that's why I, I stopped eating I stopped eating beef. eating beef and pork because of, I had a cholesterol over 200 at age 15. Right. Yeah, I was going to die. I, I, I was absolutely not, not because I didn't enjoy it. It was just, I was scarred by the scar. Mm -hmm. And you were saying this would be a good substitute for people who don't want to eat beef. Oh, if anybody who is is like they like beef right they eat beef and they like burgers to take one of these bad boys and put it on a sandwich and just eat it and nobody said anything to you you might not ever know that it was a plant-based thing mm -hmm. that is the thing that that it was like Outside, there was a little bit in the the texture that led you down the road of this is not meat. A tiny bit. Yeah, because there was like a, it felt like almost like rounded balls. Yeah. Inside of it, so you could tell like this is not. But what didn't you say that was supposed it. to emulate like the difference from the meat and, and the, the fat. fat? Yeah. But it 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 kind of threw you a, for a loop for a second. But outside of that, everything else about it. And I made a, a, a serious You made some beautiful burger. Like, I worthy burgers. I didn't even I didn't even put cheese on it. The vegan cheese. I just put lettuce, tomato, uh, grilled onions and grilled um, mushrooms, so a little bit of barbecue sauce and a uh, mustard, salt and pepper. That was it. I put nothing else on it. When it was cooking, I, I wanted to wanted to know if it tasted like a burger. And it was burger all the way. Would you, would you want me to buy it again? Yeah, it was fine. It was great. And it's plant based, and it's not cooked in a Burger King where it's getting it sitting same, next to the yeah. the beef. It's not vegan. It's cooked in a, in a Burger King or a, a McDonald's. Speaking or, of where it's being cooked, did you know that the Impossible Meat? which is the competitor to the Beyond Meat, the Impossible Meat has been being sold in the Disney parks. Huh. But as it's set, cooked on a separate... I don't know. Probably not. Yeah, probably not. That's why, you know, vegans can't really eat them. 
But they're there. Well, yeah. when Disney reopens. It seems like it, that's if you're vegan, that's like kind of the only way you should eat these things is cook it at home. Yeah, so because you don't know certain, what they're what screwed. they're doing to it. And if they're treating it like all the other meat, then then they're yeah. But they're using the same utensils. They're putting on the same grill, so now it's cross contamination, and it's no longer vegan, and blah 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 blah. blah. So there you go. You'd have to like cook it four streets over, just because of the air around the place. Oh yeah, (laughs) would contaminate it too. Oh, I just got a flash of that that the restaurant on the corner when we left the school in Benchi. It had the thing that came out, the vent that came out, and it was always dripping grease down the side of the building, you know, where the truck sat. That's what I got an image of. I have no idea no what idea. you're talking about. You're walking from the school to go to the fancy place. We had to turn left, and before we turned left, there was a truck sitting on the sidewalk, and there was a thing that came out of the building where the grease came out, and it dripped down the side of the building. Apparently this made an impression on you that it didn't make on me. You don't it just became a part of the scenery. I don't know. I mean, grease, yeah. grease dripping point. in China? Isn't that where the the gutter, what is it called? Gutter oil comes from? The, to- the tofu with the gutter oil. Well, isn't that where gutter oil comes from? Yeah. yeah. Gutters. Yeah, that was one thing that was really weird when we went back to Grandma's. Because you could smell like a Burger King mile away we were driving I was like what is that smell and then we pulled and I was like oh no I remember <laughs> I remember you telling your grandmother grandma I can't eat at McDonald's this is not food yeah, and that that made me giggle because we wouldn't do that we didn't haven't eaten at McDonald's in years and years because uh, no that's not true that's not necessarily true we ate at McDonald's in Beijing we had McDonald's and Pope Shop. Yeah. But we didn't eat, we haven't had it in, in Mexico. Okay. And we didn't eat it in Thailand. Sure. No, you did. We did Burger not King. eat mix, Burger King. Oh, yeah, we did. Burger King. Yeah. Yep. In Thailand. Yep. yep. I, I, well, I, stopped you, at, I stopped at Burger King a lot when until I realized, yeah, they're cooking all the nuggets in the same oil that they're cooking the onion rings and the fries. And then it was all over. I said that actually last week because my goddaughter is allergic to chicken and her aunt and uncle took her to McDonald's and got her fries. And I said, aren't you concerned? Because they cook the nuggets in the same same vat with the fries and it had never dawned on her because... She's never worked at fast food. But yep. she said it didn't bother her. And I was like, okay, well, you should be aware because they and do it. And sometimes, you know, and sometimes the people chicken were, ends up in the fry thing. And sometimes they re- people request that they deep fry the fish fillet. And that baby is like EpiPen allergic to fish. Tell so you, just eat it home. All right. <laughs> That's it. Shutting it down. Okay. Well, you, you took a big breath. I figured you were about to say something. No, thank you. If you want to find this follow the traveling fars, you can find us at the YouTube, Facebook, Pinterest, iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts, anywhere that does podcasting. At the traveling fars. If you like the Instagram or the Twitters. Traveling Fars, if you'd like the email, travelingfars at gmail.com and the blog space where you can hear the audio version of this podcast only. The travelingfars.blueberry.net, no ease in the blueberry. There you go. And if you're listening to the audio only, go to the YouTube so that you can see the funnies. Yes, and then you can ring bells and subscribe buttons, subscribe buttons and smack the like. Smack it? Sure. Why not? 2020 style? Twenty different way. I feel like... It's like everybody has very said... very violent against the... But everybody, everybody has said 
bite its face. A off. way of dealing with the like and the dislike. I love um, uh, Gerald. Yeah, Gerald Undone's. If you didn't like this, hit the dislike button twice. twice yeah. That is the best. That is very it took funny. me a long time to like realize like why would he say the two times, but do those things. Give us feedback. You should, that needs to be Let us know so, what okay. you're thinking. So my friend just messaged right. me and said, everything is closed, so I'm going to open a strip club, nice. diner, daycare, and call it Tits, Grits, and Babysits. Nice. <laughs> that's that what I'm is, talking about. That that's that's, that's the place for dads right there. <laughs> Tits an and Grits. I mean, come on now. And babysits. Grits. Salt or sugar. Huh? Salt with butter. I Salt say, or sugar. I say season it with a nice, hefty helping of trash bags. Grits. <laughs> Salt or sugar. Salt with gross. butter. That'd be gross. Some pepper and some hot sauce. Grits are the, the, the bomb. What grits are you are talking disgusting. about? disgusting. What? Clearly you did not have enough what? time with Mrs. Woods. Man, clearly you didn't spend no time in the deep south. I didn't. I you need to be in that Bible days. belt. Where, where, where you sit with the Bible on one side and the grits on the other. Oh. Scrimps. And the scrimps in the middle. Yeah, that's nice. Grits are like... Ain't no grits. Grits are like hot kanji to me. Well, it kind of is. And they're both disgusting. Oh, no, I like a good kanji with like the chicken in it. Yeah, that's good stuff. Yeah. But, man, the grits. Huh? The grits. You can do it northern style with the sugar. You can nope. do it southern style with the salt and the, the butter and the, the, the savory. I'll take them both. You get some of that. Already. You get no. You can get some of that fat back going on in there no. too. Oh god. We did a thing about fat back yesterday. Jeez. No. No, you can do the fat back. No. 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 Little little bits of fat and no. oh, yeah, man. Just throw that in there. Get it done, man. Get her done. Oh, you could take your Gross. Beyond Meat and put it in there. I I rather try. Your Beyond Burger. I rather try your friggin' your radiation orange yams. Them them yams is awesome. Y'all know them yams. Them them. In them, the can. Them, no, Just get away from the, the can, lunch, man. The lunch, the lunch the lunchroom room. ones with the little skin on them. That's inside was soft, but the outside had like a, a tough little skin, and you had to cut through it. And they they were, came from they a can. Orange, no, I don't think they orange. did. I think they came frozen and they were put on the the pans and then put in the oven. They look cartoon orange. Oh, they're awesome. It looks like somebody just took a picture and then took the saturation. I'm and telling you, man. It all the way. I'm telling you, the 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 the, 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 the Everybody ate them and they were delicious. They were delicious. Just like when you had to take. The What's the other word the for not yams? Sweet potatoes. The sweet potatoes. That's what they said they were. But they look like yams. Yeah. They look like sliced lamb. Wait, sliced, sliced, sliced lamb. yams. Yams. Not sliced lamb. Um, the square pizza where you had to take the napkin and dab it off. Dab pizza off the oil. That was so good. Pizza, man. See, we got the spoiled experience. The cardboard we crust. Got, we got, you know. The chef hand making the pizzas. Chef. Yeah, yeah, no chefs. Pizza. We got the lunch I lady. Got the special, man, y'all know I'm all green bean. I got the special. We got that lady. Without the. You know, with the thing on her head. Yeah, we got to know. Gra Listen, one of my friends in high school found a grasshopper in his green beans on his lunch tray and made a rap about it. Okay. On that note. Lunch lady said, oh, just take it out. On that note, we getting the hell on out of here. <laughs> Talking about some damn grasshoppers. And yours were picked from the garden behind your school. What, the grasshoppers? The green beans. Yeah, we grew the food. Say goodbye to the people. Bye, people. Say goodbye to the people. Say goodbye to the people. San Pellegrino. You didn't even say goodbye to the people last week. We would appreciate being sponsored by San Pellegrino's. <laughs> it's refreshing and healthy. Peace! Sponsored by water. We drink a lot of this water. We can go through 20 in a weekend. We can go through 20 today. We could. Um, sir, 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 please, um, put the groceries away. <laughs>